Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. I want to show you today how to download the WebLink updater for iDatalink Maestro and then how to program your Maestro RR for your Harley Davidson motorcycle using the new Soundstream HDHU 14 Si. So, first thing we're doing, we're going to go to our search bar and we're going to search for iDatalink Maestro.com slash plugin. This is going to also come in the quick start guide that comes with your Maestro RR. So as you'll see here, I'm on an Apple computer, but we have a Windows option or Mac OS. So we're going to download the Mac version. I'm going to tell it to allow it to update to our computer. So once this is downloaded, we'll pull this up and we'll load it on. Let's see where we're at here. Looks like we're downloaded. All right, so now we're going to have to go through the user agreement. We're going to have to agree to it. Now it's going to add it to my computer. I'm going to make it allowed for it to make changes. All right, so that quick, we actually have our WebLink desktop open. Now, you probably do not have an account, and so therefore you're going to have to sign up. This is free. Click sign up. Walk you through this. All right, now I'm just going to pick a password. All right, tell you you're not a robot, and then you sign up. All right, so that easy. Your account has been created, a confirmation email has been sent, check your inbox and verify. So I'm going to do that quickly. All right, got my web link brought up, confirming my email. Account is now active. So that simple, we have created an account and we have signed up. Now I'll tell you, I watched another video, a guy told you you had to have a web link hub, you had to have some sort of extra uh, connection to make this work, you do not. So we're going to go back out of here and we're going to go to our web link account that we just added to our computer. And now we're going to log in just using exactly what we just used. Now you have two options. You have web link remote start and you have Maestro. We are doing Maestro because that is the radio portion. So now we do not have our unit plugged in. Now your Maestro RR came with a USB cable. Plug it into the micro USB on the RR and then plug it into your computer. All right, let's redetect after it's plugged in. All right, so now we are going to flash by vehicle. So we've now detected, we're up on our screen, flash by vehicle. So now we're going to select our year. I'm just going to go ahead and put that we're going to do it in our Electroglide police bike. So 2014 Harley Davidson. It's an Electroglide. Now it's going to ask you what kind of steering wheel controls you have. Now something I want you to keep in mind here, this is one of the first radios we've had available, or the first radio, that will actually retain your rear controls as well uh, in the back. So. If you have a tour pack with controls, those will be kept as well. So you'll see here, you're gonna have an info button with the availability for with or without a push to talk button. So look for that and match it up. Make sure you pick the right one. We're gonna default it with the push to talk um, because the button will still work. We're gonna go down to sound stream and we're gonna select sound stream. We're now gonna pick our radio, the HDHU14SI. Now this is the only Harley radio from Soundstream this works with. And then we're gonna put in our serial number. All right, so we're going to take the serial number. This is going to be located on your Soundstream Reserve HDHU 14 SI on the bottom of the radio or on the end of the box next to the UPC. The one we're using is 2510311. All right, so now it's going to give us a recommended firmware for Harley. There's only one currently available. So we're going to select that. Now we're going to see, do we want to turn on vehicle information? Yes. Do we want gauges to display? Yes. Do we have a factory amplifier? So this is something you can select and it will keep Boom 1, Boom 2, or HD Audio by Rockford working. If you don't have a factory amplifier, you can simply disconnect it, but it's going to work either way. It is smart and it will see if there's an amp online and turn it on if there's not one. Then we have steering wheel controls, yes. 
Advanced camera features does not work on this because we don't have advanced camera input on a Harley. So we hit continue. Now you'll see the preset thumb controls. You can look over those. This is where you would make a change to how they function. Now, if you have a CVO, you're not gonna have the info button, but you will have a back arrow and it will work just like the info button does. So here's all the default values. If you're good with those, you simply hit continue. So now we have everything that we've selected. So we're using an RR, we're doing an Electroglide, and we have push to talk on our thumb controls and we're using the SI radio. So once you've looked over this, everything's correct, simply hit flash. Now we're using the little USB that comes in the package with the MRR. So nothing needs to be purchased extra other than the actual module itself. So no hub is needed, no special web link cable is needed. And that quick, you see the flash was a success and we're ready to plug it in and put it in our bike. Now keep in mind, if you bought your HDHU14SI from volunteeraudio.com, we've already flashed your module. And the only reason you would need to do this is if you wanna change the way the thumb control works or do a future update available from iDataLink. Thank you so much for watching. I think you've seen this was very easy. Please like our videos, subscribe to our channel so you'll see all the latest videos and keep you up to date with the, the latest information about Harley Audio as well as share this with your friends and comment below if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.